Hey there guys, Zach here from InBeta and welcome back to another video. Now today we're taking a look at Windows 10 build 14361. This build includes a number of features and enhancements over the last public preview builds which were quite a few. It's been a while since I've done one of these videos and that's simply because there wasn't really enough changes in all the releases to warrant a video but now it's been some time we can include uh, a few of the big changes that have happened through the last major releases and show them to you today on build 14.3.6.1. So let's start off with specific 14.3.6.1 features. First up is the settings app. The settings app in this build has a number of UI improvements, uh, not really here, but if we jump into an area such as system, you can see on the left hand side, the sidebar is no longer a different color. It's the same color. The button up here has moved uh, above the search bar instead of below it. And when you select an item in this left hand sidebar, uh, instead of it sort of highlighting the entire option, it just gives you a nice colored box right on the left here and the text changes to your accent color. Uh, this UI is lovely. I think it's fantastic. Lots of insiders also think it's fantastic. However, there are a few people who prefer the old style design, which of course is to be expected. But yes, that's the case. Uh, this UI changes the case for everywhere in the settings app, as you can see. And I think it looks very, very nice. So that's one very nice change in this build. Uh, there's also uh, the network icon changed apparently Ooh, if we go into here uh, you can see the network quick access button has a new icon which is very nice uh, and that's pretty much it for the big changes uh, windows inc has a number of new improvements so if we jump into windows inc workspace here you will see that uh, the windows inc ruler is now big enough uh, to span di diagonally across the entire surface book display so that's not really oh there you go that's how big it is now that's kind of a bit too big oh well but there you go that's how big it is now um we've also got fixed an issue where with the windows ink pencil tool where the, the line when drawing along the ruler wouldn't be flushed with the ruler as well as an issue resulting in a slight flicker visible to the color section when opening the pen pencil or highlight fly out uh, so apparently if we put a ruler down and then we do this i can now c correctly well <laughs> correctly if i wasn't stupid draw a line down the ruler there we go very nice indeed we've improved performance of loading the sketchpad thumbnail in the windows ink workspace fly out from the taskbar so it's now pretty instant and based on insider feedback we have made the clear all option more discoverable in sketchpad so where's the clear all button how discoverable is it that one Yay, I found it pretty quickly now. I remember last time it took me a little while to figure out which one uh, was clear all. Uh, there's also a new Blu-ray drive icon, which is nice, except I don't have a Blu-ray drive hooked up here, so I can't actually show you. It will show up here. It looks similar to the other hard drive icons, except it's got a disc on it, and it says BD for Blu-ray drive. Other improvements and fixes for PC, uh, but a number of, n loads of fixes. If we jump into Edge here, actually, you can see if I try to download something, I remember what to download this time. So if we go to... So if we download a big file, so such as an, I, an ISO from the Insider program, so we're just Insider Preview Advanced ISO. Let's download that one. Confirm. Uh, who cares? I just need to show you what it looks like. Download the 32-bit one. Save. There you go. So now the title of the download is here. Then you've got the URL. URL excuse me, in which the download is coming from. And then you've got the time below that. Very nice. I believe that's a change. I'm pretty sure someone said that was. Jumping to settings here. Not much else is new in this build. Uh, yeah, that's pretty much Edge in a nutshell. Uh, LastPass is now available for Edge if you uh, are a LastPass user. I won't be able to demo that here because... Um... Oh, no. I think I can if it shows up. I don't think there are any... Those are not real LastPass extensions, I don't think. <laughs> We go into here, get extensions from the store, perhaps. There it is. Fantastic. So if we download LastPass from here, we shall see that um, this is downloaded. Actually, since it's been a while since I did a build video, let's take a look at the new store. Yes, the Windows store was updated in a, a a few insider builds ago uh, and this is what it looks like very nice indeed uh, we've got new app pages so if we jump into an app page here you can see we now got a huge header where a picture can be uh, then we've got below that Xbox live integration which is very nice for that's for the Xbox games that are available in the store system requirements uh, people also like and then we've also got reviews at the bottom if we jump into the movies and TVs area you'll see that the trailer actually plays in the background for movies that are 
uh, for movies and TV shows. So you can see here, this video is playing and uh, it actually looks very nice. But yeah, the UI is still a little bit iffy uh, in this build. So um, hopefully that will improve at a later date. Is this still really only eight kilobytes downloaded? That's outrageous. Okay, well, while that's downloading, let's jump into Cortana because Cortana also has received some new updates uh, since the last time we showed, we looked at her. So, yes, a new UI here, a new home UI. Go to facebook.com. So she gives you examples of what you can say. Then we've got apps, settings, documents, and web search. Quick access to all of them. And then we've got our usual what's new. So we've got your news feed, uh, upcoming events, uh, appointments, weather, etc., etc. If you jump into settings here, you will see that we now have the options to edit sync settings. So you can get notifications from my from this PC on my phone. And if you have a Windows 10 mobile device, you can jump into Cortana on your mobile device and she will also have options there. So whenever you get a notification on your phone, it will show up in the action center on your PC. Very nice indeed. I'm not entirely sure why this is taking so long to download. Pause, resume. A couple other changes in this build, if we take a look at the start menu here, they've moved a couple things around to make it look a little better. So no longer is there huge gaps at the top here uh, uh, above most users and your categorized tiles. Also, you'll notice that the scroll bar here uh, fades away a lot quicker. So no longer will the scroll bar remain for five seconds. The second your mouse uh, is taken away from the panel, the scroll bar will disappear, which uh, keeps up the aesthetic look of the start menu. As many insiders have complained that the, this new start menu, at least with the hamburger menu, looks a little bit off or wonky. So they've fixed that now and it looks much better. Uh, I still believe they should just darken the hamburger menu slightly, but oh well, what can you do? The ex uh, action center has been tidied up a fair bit. There's no longer huge gaps everywhere. It looks a lot nicer. And uh, that's pretty much it. We are in the final stages of development for Redstone 1. I, this isn't downloading. Install. Let's try again. We are in the final stages of Windows uh, of the Windows 10 Redstone development cycle. So in less than a month, we should have a signed off build with, that will be sent out to uh, the public. Uh, so right now we're kind of in the final stages of fixing UI stuff, bugs and others, and not really adding any new features, which is to be expected uh, at this point. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Now, on an unrelated note, I am leaving WinBeta, meaning this is my final build video for the WinBeta YouTube channel. I've been doing this for a very long time here and I've loved every second of it. I can't thank you enough for tuning in every single time I upload one of these videos because um, I, I love it. I love I love the comments, I love your reactions, I love every time I do something wrong and you laugh or you take the mic. I love all of it and I'll still be doing build, video, build videos elsewhere on the internet so if you're interested in my coverage specifically you can follow me on Twitter at ZachB underscore. If you're only interested in the win beta coverage, don't worry, somebody new will be taking my position here doing build videos with the next a drop I imagine so stay tuned for that but for me this is farewell so thank you very much for watching and goodbye